Stitch, say, say hi. Oh, he doesn't want to say hi. Hey guys, it's Lauren, and um, a while ago on my Instagram, I asked you guys to send me questions about having OCD and mental illnesses and stuff because I've had OCD my entire life, and it's something I'm really passionate about talking about and educating people on. I've done a lot of presentations to different schools around my city, and I really wanted to make a question and answer video about that. So before I start, for those of you who don't know, OCD stands for Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. And obsessive basically means that people with OCD think a lot about things, they obsess a lot about things, they have thoughts that they can't get out of their head. And compulsive means that that leads to actions that compulsively happen, you can't stop them from happening almost. So your obsessions lead to compulsions. Now the common stereotype or the common thing people think about when um, you talk about OCD is cleaning, germs. So how that would happen um, if I was a person, and I am to an extent, who worries a lot about germs and needs to wash their hands a lot. I worry a lot about germs, I don't want to get sick. That's my obsession. I think about that all the time. I'm just worrying about germs. That causes my compulsion, which is to wash my hands all the time. And a lot of people have obsessions and compulsions, but that's different with OCD is that it's at an extent where it interferes with the rest of your life. And basically my story with OCD happened ever since I was really, really little. When I was, I mean, man, I can't even remember. Like when I was, when I was five or six, I always had problems with, like, with my hands. I would wash them so much and they'd get so dry and they would bleed. They were chapped because I'd just be washing my hands so much because I'd be so scared of the germs. And then in grade four, grade three to four, I remember I was terrified of tornadoes. And I would think about that, that's the obsession, all the time. The compulsion then was to check the weather reports constantly. I was, I was in, it was like summer and I was eight years old, I think, and I would check them four or five times a day. I'd always be looking at the sky. And then when it was at its worst, it was when I was in junior high and I would obsess over like body image and things like weight and things like that and then the compulsion for that was of course dieting and I eventually developed an eating disorder and I lost like I don't know 30 pounds I was already really really skinny um, but anyway more on that if you want I can talk about that in a future video but for now I just want to get to the questions Stitch this is a mess this is a mess already let me just find the picture. It's actually on a picture of Stitch. Look at this angel. Anyway. By the way, guys, right now I'm really good. I've gone through a lot of treatment, and I'm on medication, and I'm good to go. So I can talk more about any of that if you want in a future video, but for now I'm going to get to your questions. What can I do to best support my friends with OCD? Uh, I watched uh, a Rock Cetera video about this actually, and she was talking about how she like supports her wife, who has OCD, and um, it was really cool how she said she said she researched it a lot, and then that helped her a lot. So that's something if you want, you can research that. You can research what kind of causes um, your, uh, what would uh, what would cause your friend to kind of have an attack or what signs to look out for if you can tell they're getting anxious. So first, research. Second, don't judge them if they're starting to freak out or something. Um, it's really good not to judge them. And three, if you feel comfortable and if your friend feels comfortable, I know this is different, but for me, I really like it when people kind of call me out and if my mom will just say, this is irrational, like this is your OCD. Um, but I know that's different for every person, so you could talk to your friend about that. I really love that question. Next, do you have, oh god, um, trichotillomania? Trichotillomania, I'm not sure. Um, that's when, that's a disorder and it's linked with OCD. Um, this comes as it's a form of OCD, I don't know. But it's where it's another anxiety disorder and it's where you pick at your hairs or your eyebrows or your eyelashes just as a nervous kind of habit and it causes your hair to fall out. And a lot of people with OCD do have that. I don't have it though. Next question. Does it bother you when people say things about them having OCD but they aren't actually diagnosed? Um, so often, um, especially like in junior high and stuff, uh, people would say like, oh, I really like to have my desk clean. I'm so OCD. 
and it's kind of it's, you don't have OCD, you don't understand how awful it is to have OCD and to do things you don't really have control over doing when you can't control your thoughts. And then people just throw the word around when they're clean or when they like to keep their space tidy. People will be like, oh, I have OCD. It's so, it's so OCD of me. And I don't really like when people say things like that. I don't get offended by it. I just, honestly, it's bad. I honestly kind of just assume that person's really ignorant if they throw that word around a lot. Um, it's like when people say, like, oh, I'm so suicidal, I was sad yesterday, when obviously that's not what suicidal means. Um, and it's kind of dangerous to just throw that word around wherever. It's similar with OCD. It doesn't offend me, and I know it does offend some people with OCD, but I do <laughs> low-key judge you a little bit if you, if you go there. Um, OCD is a serious illness, and I would only use that word seriously. And also, um, especially if you don't have OCD, if you hear people saying things like um, making fun of people with OCD or joking about having it and things like that, um, call them out on it and tell them that it's not cool. Um, educate them, make them less ignorant about it. That's something you can really do to help support your friends with OCD or just anyone with mental illness. Okay, what is your view on medication? Well, I'm on fluvoxamine, which is for OCD slash like depression slash panic disorders and stuff like that. And um, I have had people tell me in the past that I should try to cure it naturally, but in my opinion, it's just the same as having a physical illness and taking medication for that. I mean, no one wants to take medication. It's a hassle and it's um, it's expensive. It's not fun, but um, it really helps me. It really, really helps me. And I'm not gonna, I'm not going to stop that just because I think I'd rather um, go natural or whatever. I'm not going to risk that because it's just. I'm not going to risk going back to that place where I was just in such bad OCD. And it's just obvious, it, if it makes you feel better, take it. Um, talk to your doctor, find out what's best for you. It's different for every person, but for me, it works pretty well. But of course, I don't want to like put it out there that, put it out there. that that's the only thing that helped me. I still have OCD didn't go away. I did have to do therapy. I did have to do um, group sessions. I had to do so much to get to a place where it's better. Um, but yeah, it did help. Can I pet your dog? I hate my friends. Uh, when do people get OCD? Uh, that's again different for everyone and there's not a ton of research done on that. Uh, for me, it was when I was born, but I wasn't diagnosed until I was like 12 or 13. Um, um, that's a really good question. Some people do kind of develop it later on in life, um, and I don't know, usually like adolescence. Do you like One Direction? Um, I like the, what's the song? It's not called Rendezvous, is it? I don't know, I like that song. There's another song I like, but I don't know like everyone in the band or anything. Um, Alright, so that's it. Um, if you want me to answer more questions about OCD or mental illness or kind of my story in the past or what I've done kind of in my city um, to kind of reduce stigma around mental illness, just leave me a comment in the comments below and I'll either answer it or I'll answer it in a future video. Um, otherwise, follow me on Instagram um, for me to post pictures of my dog and trying to think. I'll see you guys next time, whenever that will be. Alright, bye guys!